All right, welcome guys to uh, kind of the new podcast I'm doing. I don't know where, what I'm going to call it yet. I think I'm going for more of a dark mega podcast, dark mega calf. That's kind of the current meme going around right now. I'm trying to think of a way to do more content any way I can. It's not often I do content. You guys know I'm not really a quote unquote content creator. I'm a mechanic, six days a week, family owned business. So I just do, <laughs> I do content whenever I can which is not often. Um, so I'm like, hey, anytime I'm at my parents' house, I'm at my sister's house, brother's house, because I travel a lot, and I'm almost never at my place during the weekend. I'm like, I need to figure out a, uh, something I could do when I'm on the go, whether it be on my laptop, my tablet, phone. So I'm like, let's try to just do a podcast, uh, audio only. Um you know, it keeps it uh, short, sweet, and simple. We're going to be on Spotify, Google Podcasts, uh, everything we can. Uh, so leave us a five-star review if you could. It goes a long way. I appreciate it. We're going to go, well, I don't know what to say in the review. It, it's all right. Just say MAGA, say Trump 2024, say I love you, you're handsome, What you know, whatever. Um, there's a lot going on. We're going to keep the first episode short, and then we'll, we'll see where we go from here. There's so much to talk about. We have the Trump assassination attempt. We have uh, Joe Biden dropping out. Kamala Harris taking over. Kamala Harris becoming the nominee now without a single vote. She didn't receive anything. Zero percent. Zero across the board in the primaries. If elected, God forbid, she'll be the first president elected who didn't earn it. Not a single primary vote. And it, like Joe Biden dropped out. Didn't give a single reason. He didn't say anything. He said, I'm going to pass the torch. Pa- but why? Why are you passing the torch? And why now? Out of nowhere. You just said last week, a week ago, hardly a week ago, you said you were going to stay in the race. You were the nominee. You're stronger than ever, smarter than ever, more vibrant than ever. You said it, the left-wing news media said it, and now all of a sudden you have to stop, uh, step down. But why? And if you knew, if you knew, let's just say it's true, which we know it's not. We know he was forced out abruptly because they saw the polls, they saw that Trump was crushing it, and they're like, we have to do something, Joe Biden, you're gone. Bye. Nancy Pelosi threatened him with the 25th Amendment. They threatened him with, hey, we know everything about your son, we're going to release it if you don't step down. He didn't do it voluntarily. No way. I bet anything on that. But let's just say he, he was real. Let's just say he's honest. If you knew you were going to step down and pass it to a younger generation, pass the torch, as you said, why did you wait till now? Why didn't you do it before the primary so you can let the voters decide? You're all about democracy, right? You didn't let the voters decide. Why did you agree to two debates with Trump if you knew you weren't going to make it? We know that he was forced out. It is clear as day. They saw the polls and they said, hey, he's not going to win. Kick him out. We don't. Damn the voters. Damn the voters. We'll decide. I would be pissed if I was a Democrat voter. And if you're okay with this as a Democrat voter, then you're the sheep. You're the cult. They would say MAGA's a cult. MAGA would not be okay with this if they did this on our side. But you're okay with this, which means you're in a cult. You're brainwashed. You're sheep. You can't think for yourself. (sighs) Kamala Harris is being fact-checked to hell. On X right now. They're trying to erase the fact that she was the Borzar. They're trying to erase the fact that she donated to violent, uh, violent rioters during the BLM uh, Summer of Love, right? They probably hate it. They hate it. Because in 2020, conservatives had nothing. No way we can get our voice out. We're banned from everywhere, censored from everywhere. Now we own X. 
one of the biggest, probably the biggest social platform out there. We have fact checkers on both sides who are a community of people who decide now. It's not just a bunch of left wingers. We have Rumble, we have Getter, we have True Social. We have locals. There's a lot of ways we can get the truth out now that we couldn't during 2020, and you know they hate that. They hate it. The latest CBS, Trump falsely accuses Harris of donating to the Minnesota Freedom Fund, bailing out dangerous criminals. Fact check. Readers out of context, they thought people might want to know. Kamala Harris promoted the Minnesota Freedom Fund, and the post is still active on X. God bless. God bless community notes. They are, um... Hang on. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I think I lost uh, feedback real quick. Anyway, we're back. Um... We hang on. Do we have this clip from Fox News? I don't know who this guy is. This is an amazing clip. So we can play it real quick. Yeah, and then there's the DEI press secretary telling you that the DEI vice president is the future of the party here. And so the future looks kind of dim for the Democrats here, but this is no shocker either. Kamala Harris, she's the original Hawk Tua girl. That's the way she got where she is. <laughs> and uh, the party's going downhill if it's in her hands. That was tough. That, yeah, was, that, that, was, really was, tough. that was harsh. Yeah, and then there's the... <laughs> you know Fox News did not like that at all. There's like, oh, God, don't let this guy back on. We have Kamala Harris right here trying to erase the fact that she was the border czar. We have her own tweet. Vice President Kamala Harris, March 24th, 2021. POTUS asked me to lead our diplomatic work with Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. To address the situation at the southern border, we have to address the root cause of the migration. It won't be easy work, but it's necessary. That's an exact tweet from her. Government tracking just deleted their 2019 page that ranked Kamala Harris the most liberal of all 100 senators. Senator Kamala Harris' 2019 report card ranked most liberal compared to all senators, which means she was a crazy far left progressive. She is. Because, you know, Democrats always try to play the moderate card. We're normal. We're moderate. Murder the road. Do you realize she, she she is the most liberal senator? Banning fracking, abortion up to nine months and beyond. We have um. We have a lot here. We have. Uh, he said she was. A so this is going to kind of go back and f this clip from Alex Jones. It's going to go back and forth before, before Biden drops out, and then they do after. They keep going back, so I'll I'll keep saying before and after to so keep you guys updated of uh, Kamal Harris. Here we go. He said she was Joe Biden's border czar. She wasn't. She was never put in charge of the border. She was given a much more limited assignment to lead a so-called root causes diplomatic effort That's trying to address the reasons uh, in Guatemala, uh, El Salvador, and Honduras that people choose to migrate. Now, many Republicans scoff at this kind of fact check. They're like, there were a bunch of articles back in 2021 that called her border czar. Frankly, those articles were wrong. And if you look at CNN's own coverage, not to toot our own horn, but you'll see that the White House and Harris's office can 
consistently as early as early 21 pushed back on that framing. Quote unquote, uh, border czar. Vice President Harris was not a border czar. Meantime, Vice President and border czar Kamala Harris facing some backlash. What he said about Harris and immigration was not true. She was never appointed border czar. Uh, And this will be her first visit to the uh, U.S.-Mexico border region since she was appointed as the border czar by President Biden. People going to have to counter the misinformation. You already hear folks talking about the border czar. She wasn't the border czar. President Biden tapped Kamala Harris, Vice President Kamala Harris, to be the border czar. Now, she wasn't the border czar. That's what Republicans uh, labeled her. They were very critical of Kamala Harris, especially in her role as border czar. Now what she's up against is folks lying about her border record, calling her a border czar. Kamala Harris, who was appointed as the border czar. The Biden team didn't declare her the border czar. They wanted her to work on kind of the root causes of immigration. Mm -hmm. There has been so much criticism against Kamala Harris. You know, she was the the border czar. Calling her sort of the border czar, uh, which wasn't necessarily the case. So the border, if they weren't planning to address it in a major way, do not make her your border czar. She met with some of the Northern Triangle countries, but nothing has effectively changed. One other topic I wanted to uh, talk to you about, but let me just quickly put a button. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I'm here in Guatemala today at some point. You know, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point that you're making. I'm not discounting the importance of the border. Well, I, I mentioned it because I, even I, I know Republicans have certainly come at you on this. But Democratic Congressman Cuellar as a border district has said to the, you and the president, come. You need, I to, care you need to see about, this. Listen, I care about what's happening at the border. I'm in Guatemala because my focus is dealing with the root causes of migration. There may be uh, some who think that that is not important, but it is my firm belief that if we care about what's happening at the border, we better care about the root causes and address them. What is Joe Biden? What is Joe Biden? Hey folks. Oh, Kamala, not sure if you heard, but uh, I'm putting you in charge of solving a little immigration problem down at the Mexican border. Yes, I did hear that. Wow. Thank you for the opportunity. Such a fun, solvable problem. (laughs) And and what are you in charge of? Moi, giving out checks. Uh, Who wants stimmies? Woo! Now Vice President Kamala Harris is stepping into a new role, taking the lead on the immigration crisis. In months of taking office, Vice President Harris was assigned the difficult task of the border, checking in with Central American governments and trying to get to the root causes of immigration problems in the United States. It has been 91 days since President Biden named Harris as the administration's border czar. Republicans have heavily criticized her for not visiting the border since then, though she has made other trips to places like Guatemala. As the border crisis escalates, President Biden is putting the vice president in charge. When she speaks, she speaks for me. Doesn't have to check with me. She knows what she's doing. The work will not be easy, uh, but it is important work. I want them shut down. I want them silenced. I want them muted. It's so stupid with their mask on. There, you heard it right there. Government websites. We just read from you. She's the borders are. Don't let anybody tell you different. You got to save these things. Screenshot them. Record them. Kamala Harris is. A horrible, horrible, horrible candidate. Super far left. Stupid. Retarded. Look at right here. This is uh, this is uh, what she has to say about young voters. Let's see if I can play this right now. I remember, age is more than a chronological fact. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. <laughs> That is why we put them in dormitories and they have a resident assistant. They make really bad decisions. I remember age is more than a chronological fact. God, I I couldn't listen to that for four years. She's a horrible candidate, super far left candidate. We're going to keep reporting on it. We're going to keep talking about it. Anybody think she's moderate in any way? You are stupid. You're an idiot. 
And there are a lot of, uh, oh, Nikki Haley voters and middle of the road people who normally lean right are going to go for uh, Kamala Harris. It's like, are you a freaking retard? She's a super far left candidate. And if you believe anything other than that, then you're an idiot. I'm sorry to sound harsh, but what else could it be? It's just not true. It's verifiably untrue, and I'm showing you that in this first episode. We'll do more episodes. Um, again, I don't know what we're calling this podcast. It's going to be uploaded on Spotify, Google Podcasts. Like, subscribe, share, leave a five-star review if you could. Don't have to say, you're like, I don't know what to say in the review. I can't leave a review. Just say MAGA, say Trump 24, say, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. They just want to see the five-star review, so I do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for doing that makes me all warm inside uh so we are going to listen to this amazing amazing video we played a little bit of it on our other live stream dave mccormick running for pa pennsylvania u.s senate dropped an amazing video on kamala harris a lot of deleted footage by the way they're trying to delete this off the internet we'll listen to it right now kamala harris is inspiring and very capable the more people this is just real quick. The the guy praising her throughout this video is Senator Bob Casey. He's the other senator in Pennsylvania. Dave McCormick, who's running for U.S. Senate, is calling him out. Bob Casey uh, doesn't uh, talk often to the press. He hides. And he still somehow gets people's votes. But that's, that's who's uh, praising her in this video, just for context. Kamala Harris is inspiring and very capable. The more people get to know her, they're going to be particularly impressed by her ability. The nonpartisan GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. I am prepared to get rid of the filibuster to pass a Green New Deal. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. Would you ban offshore drilling? Yes. What is the solution for voters in the fossil fuel industry? Giving the workers an ability to transition. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the borders criminal. No, that's correct. Raise your hand if you think it should be a civil offense rather than a crime to cross the border without documentation. Abolish ICE. Yeah. So just you know right there, she said she's not going to consider one, consider one single person. She said in a general statement, you got to realize it's a general statement, meaning all people coming over the border, she's not going to consider anybody a criminal. Rapists, murderers, M- MS-13 gang members, they're not going to be considered criminals under a Kamala Harris administration. Is that a position you agree with? And we need to probably think about starting from scratch. Outdated, it is wrong-headed thinking to think that the only way you're going to get communities to be safe is to put more police officers on the street. Would you support changing the dietary guidelines? The, yes. The, you know, the food pyramid. What the people yes. Are the, yes. To reduce red meat specifically. Yes. People who are convicted in prison, like the Boston Marathon bombers, on death row, people who are convicted of sexual assault, they should be able to vote? I think we should have that conversation. We have to have a buyback program, and I see support a mandatory buyback program. So for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. I am opposed to any policy that would deny any human being public health, period. The more people get to know her, they're going to be particularly impressed by her ability. <laughs> we did it. We did it, Joe. Oh, they did it right. Kamala Harris is in chat. Excuse me. You have um, National Border Patrol Council President who worked with many administrations, worked with Obama, worked with Trump, worked with Biden and Harris, and he had some words to say about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris knows what she needs to do. I was there. I gave her all of the policies that she needed, all of them, and she refused to implement them. She does not care about you. She does not care about the safety of this country. He does. This is the man for the presidency. Thank you. Wow. Tom. And, and this guy was fair. This guy actually gave credit to Obama. He said he Obama did good first year. 
you know, he's somebody that tries to work with everybody. He's never endorsed a candidate until now. He endorsed Trump. And he said, look, he's like, I try to work with everybody. I gave Obama credit. I tried to give advice to Kamala Harris on the border. She didn't want to hear it. Kamala Harris is a super far left progressive. She couldn't be any more far left if she tried. She'll be so damaging for this country. You also don't want to hear her laugh for four years. I mean, my God. Nobody should be subjected to that. Well, we'll see what happens. We're going to wrap it up there for the uh, first episode. Um, we'll see where we go from here. Maybe I'll try a little bit of this, a little bit of that, try to, you know, do something else with it. Um, hopefully we have its own uh, name, its own, uh, its own logo, and er uh, logo and everything um, soon. This is going to be an audio-only podcast. It's on Spotify. It's on Google Podcasts and others. Check the description below. I'm at Patriotic underscore calf on all socials that's at patriotic underscore calf um if you guys want to check out my gaming account that's at cav underscore arcade at cav underscore arcade to switch things up a little bit and uh we have some live streams on rumble we have live streams on youtube switch things up a bit um it's always a good time hope you guys can hang out if you guys are so inclined to leave a five-star review right now to share to like whatever you're listening to um, it does go a long way, so I do appreciate it. Uh, you know, we, we kept things a little... I, I'm going to try to keep things relatively short for each episode, a little bite-sized content. Um, just trying to record this any chance I get, you know, just to throw it out there. Um, so I do appreciate the support. Uh, we are going to end things now. And I would love to hear you guys' comments, if you guys can, wherever you guys can comment. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Do appreciate it. Good night, guys. God bless.